Hey, 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 Earth Signs, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your daily dose of love tarot. So, Earth Signs, I will do all of the signs separately, and they will be timestamped in the description box below. So, let's begin with Taurus. Taurus, hey, 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 this is your sacred scribe here. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys are interested in any reading, you can join me every night, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will answer a question for 777 in Super Chat or PayPal. So let's see what's going on for you. What is, ooh, what's your message? The cards are like jumping out. So you have a King of Swords here. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. Yeah, definitely a Libra because you have Justice, uh, the Knight of Staffs. You have the Empress. Oh, my gosh. Uh, what's going on? The Six of Wands and the Queen of Staffs. Let's see. All right, so there could be a decision that you're making. All right, some sort of decision, I feel it could have to do with um, money. That's what I'm feeling, to tell you the truth. I'm feeling it's a decision about money. It's a decision about going forward. Let's see. Yeah, about some sort of wish. Maybe some sort of wish is coming to you because you have the King of Pentacles. And it's something you've been waiting for. And this is going to allow you to put the past behind you. There could also be, wow, a king of staffs. It could also be a Sagittarius energy I'm getting with the king of staffs. Could be Aries or Leo. Now, there could be a, a you know, you could have this Libra and fire sign uh, in the mix where you have to decide. So you may be getting an offer. You're going to be getting multiple offers, an offer in business and an offer in love, a couple of offers in love. Some of you could be seen for something. This could be that attention that you're getting from somebody um, that makes you an offer that includes possibly a job I'm getting with the King of Pentacles know your worth i'm getting with the lady of coin this is something that i feel like i don't know if they're watching your work if they've seen your work whatever you do for a living but you're putting a lot of energy and passion into it this is going to make you very happy it's also going to bring love to you your connection with the divine is unique that's what i'm getting with this okay and this is what's manifesting it okay as soon as you release this resistance which is the seven of uh wands here okay as soon as you release this resistance i feel like you know your strategy and moving forward is going to bring you opportunities in love and in business and i feel like this is going to begin to turn for you the wheel of fortune tell me about this business opportunity first the emperor ten of swords ten of vessels okay so it could be that an emperor is coming to make you an offer it's going to make you very very happy um, but something does have to end in order to step into this okay you could even have um, major companies uh, competing for you, right? You have the work card here and offering you something and it's a lot of money, okay? So, oh, wow, six of pentacles. So you're gonna have some really heavy decisions to make. Tell me about, wow, I just feel like a lot. I'm feeling a buildup of energy that's almost overwhelming, like in my heart chakra, right? It's like everything is coming at you. So spirit wants you to take the time to think, all right, about these decisions because there's a lot of people here involved and a lot of um, action that needs to be taken. 
All right, so tell me about this love situation. <laughs> Two of vessels. Whoops. Nine of swords and the strength card. Opening up your heart, right? Releasing that resistance and coming together and not being afraid, okay? But in order to release this resistance, Taurus, you really have to go within. You really have to go within Go within your heart chakra, release what doesn't serve you, and then move forward in the direction of your dreams. Listen for your calling. Listen to your heart, okay, with the king of vessels. I feel like, yeah, with your healing, because this was standing out, the nine of fire, with the healing that is taking place or can take place, once you let go of that, love's coming in. You're going to be vulnerable. You're going to heal even more from this relationship. But I do feel it may be attached to business because both are showing up like side by side. Okay. And there's a lot of people here. So you may be getting more than one offer in business and love and both. Okay. Just be prepared. I really feel like you need to clear your energy because it's all going to come at you at once. All right. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. Drop a like below, share, subscribe, and comment. If you are interested in a reading, I am live every night at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, answering questions for 777 apiece in Super Chat or PayPal. You have a wonderful day. Don't forget to check out your February monthly reading as well as your bonus reading in February. And I will catch you on the flip side of your daily dose of Love Tarot. Namaste. Hey, 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 Virgo, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your daily dose of love tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Virgo, we're going to see what's going on for you today. And if you're interested in a reading, please join me every night at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I answer questions for 777A. Peace. And Super Chatter PayPal. Okay. Wow. All right. So Virgo, it looks like there's some excitement. There's some celebration of something because I feel like there's a new beginning in an area of life. Um, it, let me see what area of life this is. Yeah. See 10 of cups. Ooh, this is something you're excited about adventure, right? I'm, I'm feeling, so this could be this could be you choosing between a couple of people, right? Specifically a fire and a water sign. And I feel like you're celebrating the fact that you're committing now. You're getting over some sort of fear because you're doing something differently, right? Than you have in the past. Maybe you haven't committed in quite some time. And now you're making that decision, right? You do seem a little bit worried about this choice. But something happens, something comes in, what is it, right? And then magic, and then the magician. So something changes everything, okay? And you no longer can hold down your emotions. I feel like they come, you know, just like rising to the surface. So I feel like... I feel like this is you, the queen of staff. So you may have fire in your chart. For some of you, this could be a twin with the seven of flame here. Okay. I feel like this is empowering you. Okay. This decision with love. I feel like it's empowering you. You're looking back to the past. Maybe you had a twin flame relationship previously, and that's what you're looking back at. And you've learned from it, so you're going forward. That could have been with the fire sign. Now you're taking your time here, right? You're looking out to the future and knowing that you're receiving everything that you want, right? And you're going forward in a very passionate way. Yep, this is something that you've been waiting for. This is something that you've manifested. And I feel like it has to do with letting go with the past, letting go, focusing.
focusing on the things that do serve you and this brings love to you in a very very strong way in a very magnetic way So I do feel this is very, very different from what you've done before, previously. I feel like it's taking a leap. You're taking a risk because of the wounds that you've held in the past. So this is really a chance for you to step out of your comfort zone and commit, do something different, and perhaps start a family because I am getting um, possible children here. As I say, children, the Six of Pentacles comes out. So if you have children, I feel like you could have two. Yeah, so I feel like, you know, you may have gotten a lot of attention, a lot of people competing for you, competing for your attention. But now you finally putting your foot down, you're making that decision, that final decision to move forward in a relationship. Yep. So I feel like this is going to be very exciting for you, Virgo. It's going to be very healing. You're going to know what's good for you, what's true for you, and there you are. You show up as the Empress, okay? I feel like there's expansion in this relationship. This is something you're going to build upon. You're overcoming your fears here, and you're appreciating um all the fears that you had in the past because you're overcoming them and you're stepping over a, a big speed bump, if you will, okay? And you are making your dreams come true. And this is part of one of your dreams here. Hmm. Yeah, if you were keeping, you know, a relationship from this one and that one, right? I feel that is over with now. Okay, because what you've been waiting for has arrived and you're coming together. You're happy. You're having kids, at least two. Okay, so don't look at this as something that you're lacking because you may have had a fear of abandonment, Virgo, and that's why you kept more than one person around. Okay, because have no fear in love. Be vulnerable. It's your greatest asset. Okay, Virgo, yeah, really, really connect with your heart space, right? This is your advice. And make sure that when you're connecting with your heart space, think about your masculine and your feminine, okay, side, and really embody that to move forward, all right, in a very, very happy and empowering way. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Virgo. Like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in any personal reading. Uh, you can join me every night at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I answer questions for 777 a piece in Super Chat or PayPal. I would love to have you there. We have a lot of fun, and I will catch you on the flip side of your daily dose of Love Tarot. Namaste, Virgo. Hey, 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 Capricorn, this is your sacred sign here, ready to do your daily dose of love tarot. So Capricorn, we're going to see what's going on for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you are interested in a personal reading, I am on every night live at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, answering questions for 777 a piece in Super Chat or PayPal, I'm usually on for about four hours. So I'll be there for a while. So Capricorn, you have four of wands and seven of pentacles. So I feel like you're beginning to build a solid relationship, a solid commitment. And I feel like you're being um, patient, right? You're investing your time, your energy into this, into coming together with somebody. This is about commitment. This could be a twin with the four of wands. <clears throat> you're taking a leap of faith and transforming for this new beginning here, okay? I feel like it's despite your wounds, even though you have wounds and you're worried, I feel like you're taking the risk despite your fears. And you're keeping these fears to yourself. Um, 
there's a lot of wounds and fears here and I would suggest that you need to let these go in some way because they will build up and they may build up to resentment. All right, so this may be with a Taurus, a Libra. Could be any sign because it's the Empress. Now you have the Seven of Swords here. It's like, I feel like this is the secret you're holding back. If it's not, then there's another secret. There's a lot of anxiety and fear about divulging a truth. So this could be a secret that you're holding from the past. This could be just a secret about these wounds uh, that you haven't divulged yet, that you're keeping from your partner. But there's something you're not saying. There's something that you're keeping from them. And it needs to be released because it's going to be a buildup of energy here. Okay. Um... Yeah, it's holding back of these emotions, right? Holding back of the heart space. And it's stopping you or will stop you from moving past a particular point here. What's the Knight of Wands? Yeah, so the Knight of Wands. So th this could have been who you were in the past, right? And Knight of Wands is, is a player, right? in the tarot here for me. So with the Knight of Wands here and the Five of Vessels, I feel like this is somebody that you were in the past. And you were this person in the, in the past for a reason. Now this came up with Virgo. It could have been abandonment issues. It could have been many, many things. It could have been, you know, the work that's needed to put into a relationship. It could have been getting too close to somebody. That's the fear, right? Uh, yeah, and I feel like this connected to your past wounds is all culminating into something that could explode, okay? So I, I see this as an opportunity, okay, you got the devil card here, as an opportunity because it is what you've been waiting for, okay, to wake up the feminine, wake up the feminine, and let them know about your feelings, okay? So that it can transform and transmute into different energy. And you can use it in a way that's going to serve you, in a way that's going to serve the relationship. So it can move forward here with the Two of Wands, okay? But this is up to you. Are you going to speak about it? Will you take action on it? Okay, this will bring you peace because I feel like there's a lot of turbulence inside. See, it's going to bring you the Ten of Vessels. It's going to bring you emotional fulfillment. So, you know, I feel like if you decide to divulge this and really purge these emotions and let go, it's going to be something to celebrate because you're going to be free. You're going to feel free. You're going to feel adventurous. And it's something that you can build upon because you've overcome the fear. So put the work into yourself and to the relationship and watch it blossom, right? Watch it grow into something that may surprise you. All right, Capricorn, that's what I have for you. Like, share, and subscribe right down below. If you are interested in a personal reading, I am live every night at 5 p.m. Answering questions for 777 in Super Chat or PayPal. You have a wonderful day. Don't forget to check out also your February uh, readings and your February bonus readings. And I will catch you on the flip side of your daily dose of Love Tarot. Namaste.